tell this isn't your first barbecue. All right, say your name and what you're nominated for, will you? Um, my name's Jolie Richardson, and I'm very lucky to be nominated for side effects. I don't know that luck is exactly the issue. I mean, you're a very good actress. You've been nominated for lots of stuff. You come from a wonderful family. You know, I've, I've never been nominated for theatre before, so for me this is a really, really nice thing. Um, and uh, I, I say that because I think with all of these things, there's always an element of luck. There are so many fabulous performances, and, you know, so if your name's picked, there's an element of luck. You really think that it's luck more than skill or anything else? Well, I think um, I, I think skill and talent, all of those things are involved. But as I said, there are a hell of a lot of talented people. And um, I know because I've seen some wonderful performances off Broadway in the past year and on Broadway that that I, I just think, you know, um, I, I do believe that it's hopefully all of that, but an element of luck as well. Do you feel, I, and this is kind of a silly question to a certain okay. extent, it's all right, um, do you sort of feel like you're sort of, because it's kind of the family business, is that a fair thing to call acting in your family, it's kind of the family business? Um, I suppose it is fair. It's something that we all, well, not all of us, but a good half of the family do, so I, I suppose so. We don't think of it like that. We just think of, um, you know, that all of us happen to love acting, but, but I suppose that's fair. Well, you know, some people are from families of accountants or lawyers or doctors, and you're yeah. from a family of, dare I say, thespians? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Have you gotten reaction from, from the family? Have, are they saying, yay, it's about time, of course you're fabulous? Um, they were just so happy for me, really happy for me, because they knew that uh, taking on side effects uh, as a role, it was incredibly, incredibly difficult part. And um, if you're not really well um, uh, trained, I mean, not trained, I was trained, but I meant I'd been doing film and television for a good decade, so I was rusty. So to take on, a, to not ease your way in, but to take on such a gigantic role as uh, Lindy was, because it was a two-hander, it was all about her uh, wife and her husband, um, and so it was about, you know, 90 or 100 pages of dialogue, whereas normally, you know, I'm used to doing seven pages. Seven pages would be an extremely long scene. What, where, where, did you have any sort of thoughts of, I just, you know, what, I don't want to do this, or it's too much, or I'll wait till something a little more uh, limited <laughs> yes, comes along? Yes, I had all of those thoughts. I certainly, I didn't know if I could do it, to be honest. And I thought, is it morally right to accept a job when you don't know if you can pull it off? Um, but, but I'm really glad I did. Uh, and right up until the first preview, I was beyond terrified. But I was, I was lucky because I could hear her voice, and that helps a lot. Because I, um, I don't mean as though you know, like ghosts or anything. You don't have I to mean, put you on medication or anything. No, no. I, I just meant that it gives you a shoe in for me if I'm playing a role when I can hear their voice because that, that's like that carries you. Um, I just finished doing Lady from the Sea, Ibsen, and that was harder because I couldn't hear her voice um, and had to find it. When, all right, so, so here is something terrifying. It's like 15 times more work than you're used to. What made you sort of say, I'm going to do it? What made me decide to do it was that uh, I'd been doing films, and um, when I finished that series, Nip Tuck, I'd, I'd been doing films, but none of the roles were that challenging and then I was offered side effects and I thought can I really call myself an actress if I travel around the world and I do these film roles but when I'm offered something huge and challenging I say oh no too scary I can't so I, I just felt that I couldn't really call myself an actress if I didn't take it on if you didn't scare the living daylights out of yourself yes yes are there any roles that uh, you've turned down that you wish in retrospect you've taken, or conversely, any roles that you've taken that you thought, if I had to do it again, I wouldn't do it? 
Um, not really, <laughs> no. No, I, I, you know, I, I, I think on the whole, I've given the choices that I was presented with. I think I've, there's nothing I regret yet. I just turned down something. I might regret that, but uh, I just finished, you know, this run of Lady from the Sea, and I just was tired, and I really needed a break. So maybe that one, um, but obviously I won't say it because now it's being made with someone else. Um, and. Uh, no, I, it, for past projects, when they're done, I just let them go. So now that you've had a, a real success on New York stage, would you do it again? Or do you look oh, to do it absolutely. again? Absolutely. No, because it gave me two things. One, the hunger to do more. And two, the confidence that I could. Because before side effects, I didn't know if I could. And so the reputation. <laughs> and the award. Um, the nomination, yeah. Well, that was that was the icing on the cake. So, um, yeah. I mean, so. Do you have a, a particular role that that you're longing to play? I think having just finished Ibsen's Lady from the Sea, that was sort of one of those roles that's, you know, uh, it's one of the great classics. And to go from side effects, which was contemporary, to taking on. You know, she's sort of like the female King Lear or the female Hamlet. So I think in a way that was a dream to do that and to pull it off. Um, so I'll, I'll have to look for new horizons now. Well, we look forward to seeing your new horizons. Best of luck. Thank you. You, you always seem like such a smart woman. And, and I assume it's... Now you found out I was going to say, <laughs> no, no, no. I was going to say, I assume it's only partially because of the accent. But you do seem... <laughs> intelligent woman uh, who I makes good choices. A little bit intelligent. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Intelligence can get in the way too. Sometimes you have to discard a lot of it, especially with acting because it's not so much analytical at the end of the day. It's. Uh, I read this great quote from Fiona Shaw um, and she said, you can't learn it with your head. You have to learn it with your heart. Well, finding the voice, right? Huh? Finding, finding the, voice. the voice. Exactly. Exactly. Thank Thanks you. for going with me on that one. Thank you. <laughs>